Okay, so I'm going to grab the data from this website, uh, put it into oops, this. Uh, there is a different video for this that goes a little slower. And also a data for um, this next part where I'm, oops, I'm control A, selecting everything, control C, copying, and then paste special values only. Okay, this way I now have the, the numbers and I'm on step C. Um, so here's where I want the headers. I'll go ahead and just start changing that. HDI rank. Okay, I've typed a couple in already. I did want you to see like how I'm doing this here. Um, so I'm trying to condense all of these into a single row here. So I'm going to say 2015 to 2020 with the dates, adolescent, uh, birth rate, and then births per 1,000 women, ages 15 through 19. Click back up here to resume my typing. Um, going to do the same thing here, but I'm going to do that real quick. Just a quick note, when I have something that is almost the same twice, I'm going to do a control C or command C on a Mac, control V, paste that, and then I will just make the edits here. Um, and almost done, 2017 uh, percent of female population 15 and Older in labor force, little British spelling there. And then we're going to copy that, um, change this to male. Okay, so we have all those in there. Now that we've condensed and gotten all the information from these um, rows into that first row. Uh, notice I clicked on the two, dragged down to the seven, and released. Now I'm going to right click and delete these rows. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is delete some columns that I, I don't need. And I didn't say to do this. I'm holding down the control key uh, so I can select multiple columns. And right clicking and delete those columns. Um, if you don't do that step, that's that's fine. Okay, next thing I want to do is I want to freeze that top row. So I'm going to click on it and go to View, Freeze, Top Row. And um, I'm going to go ahead and go to, forget if I do this later in the instructions or not, but text wrapping, change that to wrap. That way we'll be able to see everything going on there. And I don't know if I required this, but I, I always like to center that and ideally bold it just so that you can see the difference between these and the actual data. And it looks like I forgot to delete column K there. Okay, this is looking great. And now the next thing I wanna do is get rid of any row without an HDI rank. So the easiest way to do that is to sort on HDI rank. Um, there's a couple ways you could do this. If we click here and sort A to Z, that seems to work. Um, if that doesn't work, we could also select all our columns and create a filter, which will definitely work then, that we can sort any column. I'm going to grab the scroll bar. And we're going to get rid of all these countries down here. So I'm going to click on 191, scroll down. You can also use the scroll bar to scroll down. Hold the shift key, left click again. That'll select everything in between. Right click and delete these rows. So now we have just the rows of data. Do notice that we have some of these double dots. So what I'm going to do here is Control A, that selects everything. Edit, um, we're going to find and replace. We're going to find that double dots and just replace it with nothing there. I'm going to replace all. Okay, and then click Done. So now our data is nice and clean, easy to read. 
um, gotten rid of all the non-numbers there. Um, so next step is to create the map. So I want to use the country name and this column C, the gender inequality index. So if I click on B and um, drag over to the C release, then I can go to insert chart and click on the chart type, scroll down, grab myself a map. And now I that, that's working fairly well, except I want to flip the colors here because I'm going to consider gender equality a good thing, uh, which is, I would say, green more so than red if we're thinking about driving, stoplights, and such. So I'm clicking on Customize, Geo. I'm going to make my min uh, a green. The minimum number here is uh, equal. The, more, the lower the number, the more equal the country standards, and I'll make red my max. Um, I'm going to make the no value a dark gray so it's clear when I have no data. And uh, I'll just go ahead and make white the mid. It'll be a little nicer. Um, yeah, that way I can tell the difference between a white and a no data. That's actually a little hard to see. Maybe I'll make it a little bit off color. There we go. That looks a little nicer. Okay, so now we have um, all the data. Uh, if I click on this, then I can click it again and, and drag it. Uh, I can see areas of the world where we have lots of relatively more gender equality. I, I shouldn't say gender equality because um, certainly none of these countries probably have full gender equality, uh, but some certainly have more, more than others, and there may be some surprises in there. Uh, now what I will do after I analyze this a little bit is I click anywhere in my spreadsheet and then go up to the insert comment and depending on your screen you may have like a triple dot. If you don't see this icon you can see a triple dots that you'll click and then you should see this. Worst case scenario you can always click on, on comments and add one up there. Um, and then here is where I would add my responses to the questions about analyzing this data.